All right, I know many of you are new to Adobe Illustrator, so we're going to create this project called the Superstar Project. Actually, what we're going to do is make like a Christmas ornament using Adobe Illustrator and some basic commands. To create this Christmas ornament, we're going to go ahead and create a new file. Now, as the file is creating, we always have to remember we have to design and manufacture to, the, to our machine's capabilities and to also our material sizes. And in this case, we know that the material that I've pre-cut for you is 10 inches wide. It's actually MDF. And the height is going to be 8 inches tall. We're going to actually make it look like it's in horizontal mode or landscape mode. Now, always check and make sure when we're doing stuff for the laser engraver or CNC mills that we're set to inches or millimeters. And in this case, we're going to be set 2 inches. So we'll go ahead and hit Create, and we'll go out and create us a file. Now, here in my file, as it comes up, you can see that I have my screen laid out here in what's known as the Essentials. If your Essentials isn't laid out, come up here and hit Reset Essentials and Set to that. Now, again, let's go over some things real quick. The overall screen that you see right here on your computer is called the Applications Frame. Now, at the top, you have what's called your Applications Bar. This guy right here, it has all the pull-downs. And then also you have over here things like Essentials or your workspaces that if you wanted to select. And it has your tool path, uh, your tool panels over here on your right, your toolbar, tool panels over here on the right hand, left hand side. And at any given time I can double click on this and it can show that. Now if you notice my screen is really small because I'm using my laptop. So I'm going to go ahead and set mine to double. And also if you look over here on the panels to the right, this shows you the different uh, panels that you have available, like in this case, properties, layers, that kind of thing. I can take this as well, and I can collapse it down over here, so I just see this right here, which is actually how I prefer to work. If I need my, need my layers, I'll pop it out and just click it again to close it. Now, if we come down here at the bottom, you see this toggle. It says Change Screen Mode. You can, and notice how, the, how it says in this pop-up, it says change screen, smoke, change screen Mode, you have the F key. So I'm going to just pull off to the side here and just hit my F key. I actually like to work in this one where I don't have the individual files in Illustrator up. I need as much screen real estate as I can use. So that's why on a laptop, I use and work in this mode as well. And if you hit it again, it takes away all your panels and all you just have is a screen. And it's relying you on you to know your commands by memory, like the pen tool, the uh, rectangle tool, the ellipse tool, etc. So I don't think that's appropriate at this time. So I'm just going to hit it one more time and then one more time again. Let's go ahead and kill that. So one more time again. And so now I have this up. Now I want to see my ruler because it's real important that when I make this superstar that I have my ruler up. So I'm going to do a control R. And so that brings my ruler up. And I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and make sure that I'm set to zero here, as you see, and zero across. Now, let's tear off some menus that we're going to use a lot. I'm going to hold this uh, shape menu down. I'm going to pull over to the right. It shows that I've got my rectangle tool here, and my ellipse tool is down here, and my star tool is here. But I need to tear that off, so I'm going to tear it off right here. So we'll move this up here so we can see it. Then I'm going to come over here because I use this command an awful lot, known as the direct selection tool. I'll hold down on that, again, pull over to the right-hand side, and tear that off as well. Now watch out as I pull it up to this other menu. It just kind of magnetizes and jumps to it. Oh, there it is. And then I jump to the top, and that's horizontally laid out. I'm going to come over here and grab my pen tool as well, and we're going to tear him off. There he is, and we'll put him right there. Okay, so now I've got pen tool. I've got all these other uh, commands, my direct selection. I'm going to use these quite a bit, the anchor point tool and the direct selection heel. So let's go ahead and create a star. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to create a star. Now I can just click and drag, and it's automatically defaulted to a five-point star. Notice how I'm, I'm still holding my left mouse button down. If I come down here and I hit my shift key, it snaps to where it's horizontal perfectly. I'm just going to release that. So now I've got a nice, I call it a fat star out there. Now notice these little pink lines that are popping up. These are called smart guides. Uh, they're not really needed for this purpose that we're using here. So I'm going to come up here to view, and I'm going to come down here to smart guys. See, it's already turned on, and turn that off. So I don't need it anymore. Now, let's come over here again. I've got this still selected. If I use my mouse and drag this over and just hold it there, notice it says rectangle tool M. Let's do the same thing over here with the ellipse tool, ellipse tool L. So if I come back over here and I want to jump to the rectangle tool, I just hit the M key. Because remember it said, as I go back over here, 
it has the rectangle tool within it. And it's telling you that's the shortcut. Now let's do the same thing with the L to get to ellipse. Ah, see it did it again. See, L shows the ellipse tool. All right, that's cool. Well, star doesn't have one, so we'll just click on that. Now, to create a multi-point star, more than the five points here, I'm just going to click one time, and it opens up this menu. And on this menu, I say, well, you know, I want to look at 11 points on my star, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and it produces 11-point star. Now, if I hold my mouse key down, I can pull that out, and I've got a bigger 11-point star. Well, for our Christmas ornament project, we're going to make a star like over the town of Bethlehem. So I'm going to do a control A and select all of that and hit delete. So now I'm going to hit again one time for my star tool and I want a four point star at this point. Now you kind of have to play around with this to get the diameter and radiuses right. Um, the radius one is the outside radius of your star. In other words, the, the further extents of your points. So I'm going to set this one to 2.5. Now I'm going to hit my tab key. Now to put in the next radius, I don't have to hit the delete key. I'm just keying the next radius. I see a lot of you guys just deleting key and then keying it in. I'm just going to come in and key in 0.25. Okay, let's see what we get. Wow, that's a massive star. I did something wrong. Let's go back and uh, hit delete. It's okay, you know, we make mistakes sometimes. Click it one more time. Oh, I said 2.5 here. Oh, see the center radius I had at 25 inches. So that means the star was actually 50 inches. I forgot to put my point in. Let's try that again. Hit OK. All right, that looks pretty good. Now, notice how on your screen you have what's kind of a blue, looks like a blue outline. If I want to change that outline, I come over here to Layers. I'll double click on Layer and see how it's got the blue right here. Also, the blue up here shows you your highlight layer. I'm going to change that. I can't see that real well. So I'm going to come down here to Orange. Hit OK. And now I see the orange much better. Notice how all these anchor points here, these are called anchor points, these little squares, are set to, are turned on. If I come over here or up here on my command, oh, by the way, notice this on this direct selection tool, it says A. I'm going to pull off here, and now I'm going to hit the A key. All right. So now that is active now because it's been selected. I'm going to click out here in outer space. And then I'm going to come over here and put my mouse over. See how that anchor point tool pops up? Well, I can select it by clicking here, or I can just come out here again to outer space and not select it, and maybe drag a polygon around that, and it'll select it there. Sometimes you can't really see it, you know, just by moving your mouse over. But we're going to do it this time where we just move our mouse up and select it. Now, we have a command called nudging. I want to make the little star here longer. So what I'm going to use is my arrow down key, down arrow key. And now I'm just going to hold it down and it just starts moving. If I hold my shift arrow, shift and do the down, see it jumps in increments. It's kind of cool. So now I've got that over there. And what I want to do now is I want to make, uh, I've got it longer like you'd see on the Star of Bethlehem uh, star. I'm going to click out here, drag my mouse around that. I'm going to grab that one, hold my shift key, and this time arrow key left. Come in about, uh, it's too far. Let's go about that far. This is just a fun project we're doing right here so we can see the power of Illustrator. Now I'm going to come over here and just do that. So it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. Anyway, so there's my star. Now, if you notice a lot of stars, they always have a spur or kind of a center star on top of the big star. So we're going to come back over here again to our star command, and we're going to click one time. Now this time, I'm going to make my star a little smaller. I'm going to make it 1.5, actually 1.25. Okay, then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make this, uh, let's just go with this right now. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and drag this guy and we're going to put him on top of this star, like right there. Now, I'm going to hold my shift, actually I'm going to hit my E key. If I hit my E key, that is my transform tool. Now, you don't see it over here. It's actually hidden behind one of these. Watch it, I'm going to hit my E key. Okay, hit my E key and the transform comes up and it gives you this little, hey, here's how I work thing. Well, we don't need that, so we're just going to get out of that. Now, it popped that up. I'm going to hold my shift key down, and if you notice how my cursor changes up here, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. That's pretty cool. So now, I've got this rotated 45 degrees. Well, we're going to stop here for now before we go on too much farther, because this video is going to get big. Mm -hmm.